Yes, uh, my name is Matt Marcinelli. Uh, I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's over on the western side of Pennsylvania, very close to the Ohio border and close to the northern border of West Virginia. Oh, the, uh, my hall number uh, is 883, and we picked up uh, hall number 883, our Elite Two, in September of 2021. And we've pretty much been nonstop except for the, this past winter, these winter months uh, with the unit since then. I, my wife and I were blessed very late in life with a new addition to our family. We have a 22 year old son. Well, we ended up, uh, he was 15 at the time. We found out we were having another little baby. And I grew up camping. I'm from a big family. I'm the youngest of seven. And as you can imagine, uh, a family like that, my dad was a school teacher. My mother was a nurse. There weren't a lot of hotel rooms back in those days. So they got us into camping. It was an affordable way to do things as a whole family. And we really, uh, fell in love with being outside and camping. Uh, my wife and I decided we wanted to do that again for our boys and to reinstitute camping. I'm a former Marine Corps officer, so I spent a lot of time outside doing primitive camping, I guess you'd call it. And I didn't want to rough it like I used to have to do as a Marine. So we began investigating different platforms that we wanted to uh, possibly get, uh, uh, get involved with. Um, started off with a motorhome. We rented a 33-foot motorhome. We liked it. Every platform has its strengths and weaknesses, but we really wanted to have the latitude to uh, decouple from our unit and be able to drive. If you have a motorhome, unless you're towing a car, uh, it, it defeats the purpose. So we settled on, uh, and, and then if you have engine problems, the whole, the whole unit's down. So. We thought it was more practical, more realistic, more uh, viable to go in the direction of a pool behind travel trailer. So once we decided that, we elim it, it, this journey's really been a journey of process of elimination, what we knew we didn't want. So we knew we didn't want a motorhome, self-trick, because like I, all the aforementioned reasons. Uh, like most people, we our emotional instincts told us, hey, let's go the Airstream route. So we started to look into Airstreams. We love the Airstream. It's the iconic uh, quintessential unit in America, right? Uh, you grow up watching them and admiring them and the beauty of those. Once you start investigating, you realize the quality isn't there, that you gotta deal with uh, rivets and dents. And, uh, and it's just strange. We as we were uh, investigating on the internet, I saw a link uh, with a couple from Canada that basically made their living doing blogs. And this couple, one of their segments was focusing on the fiberglass platform. So they investigated and they walked the viewer through, I think it was six different types of fiberglass hulls. Escape, Bigfoot, um, I'm trying to think of some of the other, uh, oh, you've got the Casita out of Texas. That's a domestic unit. My wife and I knew we weren't going to buy a foreign, we didn't want to buy a unit that was made outside of America. We're, we're huge America first customers. We try to buy, consume everything that's made here in America. And so um, the last platform that the couple featured was the Oliver. And they literally came to the plant and watched the quality of the manufacturing of the Oliver. Uh, I'm an industrial engineer, so I like processes. And my wife and I, I convinced her, I said, let's go down to Hohenwald and check out the plant and watch how they assemble these units. And uh, once we did the, 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 the factory tour, it wasn't even a compare, it, it wasn't even close. We knew we wanted the Oliver. The one challenge Oliver has, uh, if you want quality, uh, it's, you know, it's not the least expensive platform and Oliver tells you that. But they also stand behind the, the mantra that the Oliver is the best built, most durable, rugged camper in America. And while well, we've been this two years running and uh, I just had my annual checkup and there was nothing wrong with my unit. So we were willing to invest. We viewed it as a long-term investment for our little one. Uh, and, and we're very thrilled with the, the product. The, the one thing, uh, the one challenge we have is Oliver always comes up with new little innovations and we're kind of, we like technology and new things. So um, 
we'll see we'll see how that goes. We we'll try to keep up with some of the newer features that the, that Oliver offers every every year, every couple years. Next year, I'm going to uh, upgrade to the lube free axle, <laughs> so I'm definitely going to do that. Um, that's kind of our story, and I I think once we uh, camped a little with the bigger unit, as I mentioned earlier, we weren't aware that a lot of these campgrounds have size limits. And so as we were building our template for what we wanted in a camper, we knew we didn't want a unit that was bigger than 25 feet. Lo and behold, the Oliver Elite 2 is only 20, it's just shy of 24 feet from bumper to tip of tongue. So uh, it, fit, it fit that category. So as far as size, ease of use. The one problem that I will mention to people about the Oliver, it's so easy to pull and it's so light. Sometimes you can forget that you're pulling a camper behind you if you're not careful. Uh, and we pull ours with a, an F-150 uh, gasser, just an F-150, uh, what is it, a half ton pickup truck and it pulls with no problem. It's the EcoBoost six cylinder. It's been great. We initially thought that would be a challenge. We considered it because of Oliver's, uh, Oliver does not distribute. The great thing about Oliver is they've got a very sophisticated clientele. I think the, the average, and you know, don't quote me on this, but I, I think the average person that I've met that owns an Oliver, they're pretty sophisticated people. We're talking professional engineers, um, a lot of people that are technically proficient in their field. I think they're drawn to this platform for many of the same reasons we are. So you've got a pool of you've got a pretty large knowledgeable customer base. And if you go to the forum, you can pretty much solve every problem. You know, and if there's, if you have obviously a structural issue, if you have an accident, you'd have to bring it back to the plant. Right now, I think it's in our best interest and the unit's best interest as we continue to get to know the unit and get better with it. Cause it does take time with any, any platform to master the nuances of the unit. My wife and I feel comfortable coming back here once a year and we've done that twice now. We've come back each year to have it serviced. Um, and it's, I think it's very cost effective to do that. It's a time. So um, it, I guess some people could view that as a challenge, but I also believe that Oliver, uh, if you do find a, uh, if you find a reputable RV facility in your area, Oliver obviously handles all the warranty issues with it. We haven't had to do that yet though. So, um, and we're, we're 10 hours away. So for me, it's worth the drive down, dropping it off like I did this time, left it for a couple weeks, had the serve, and you guys were very kind to let me leave it here and then I could pick it up after we came back from our other skiing vacation, so. Look, all of our owners have pretty much done the research for people. <laughs> I get comments all the time about my unit. Uh, I think if you can find a way to, it, it's be, it, it just, a, I guess there's a couple schools of thought. There's folks that view the RV, um, the RV journey as a disposable one. You can spend a lot less money on a camper, but you have to understand that the expectations for what you're going to spend. You're, you're, it's a constant, it's a constant battle with manufacturing to build durability with weight and ease of use. And I think Oliver, nobody has captured that sweet spot like Oliver has. Um, if you're willing to buy a, far, a lesser quality product and deal with the issues or breaking within a few years, have at it. I guess that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's not my wife and I. We want to be able to hook up a unit, really not worry about it. It's, it's more or less a fire and forget system. And we gain a lot of um, self-assurance with that. It gives us a lot of uh, confidence in the unit uh, because we want to worry about other. We we want to not worry about other things. We want to go have fun. We don't worry. We don't want to have to be concerned with the normal things that most camper uh, owners, RV owners, have to deal with. Um, the quality with this unit, it's just. I mean, it's it's a, it's incredible. So I would say. <laughs> You know, I would be, I would not get hung up on the cost of the unit as much as the quality if you seriously want to have a high quality of experience when you're camping. You can do it. It's affordable, you know, and you, uh, and Oliver, they're not, they'll tell you that they're not the least expensive unit. They'll be the first ones to tell you that, 
but you're getting the quality. And I think more importantly, since we picked up the unit, what I've been most impressed with is the responsiveness of the service and the, the customer care. For instance, we had some just minor cosmetic things done or minor cosmetic items that most people wouldn't have cared about. Brought it in after a trip. We were on, way, uh, on our way back home. They slid me in here, fixed the tiny little things, no problem. And uh, I think they value their customer base. So, um, and I think it is, it's a different customer base with Oliver than you'll see in the North. It's probably, I, I would imagine an Oliver customer demographic is similar to an Airstream customer demographic. I think it's probably the same type of person. Yeah, we, we did a lot of miles, highway. We, did, we didn't do a lot of boondocking yet. We intend to because the, the, the unit for us um, affords us the ability to do that. But we did put a lot of highway, put 12,000 miles on it, like in a year and a half. Um, no issues. I mean, <laughs> we haven't even, we didn't even have to put air in our tires uh, after the 12,000 miles. There wasn't even, a, and I did use the sensors. We put the sensors on the camper. Um, so, like I said, the biggest challenge for me, because I'm the primary driver, is having to remind myself that I'm pulling a unit, um, you know, 6,500, 6, 7,000 pound unit behind me when it's fully loaded with supplies and water. And it is so easy. I think the other thing about the unit that people don't, uh, probably don't even consider, the width of the unit, it's about, it's a, it's about a foot and a half to two feet narrower than other RVs. So when you're driving, um, you know, I use my, the mirrors on my truck. And again, I can fit that thing. I, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not an expert driver and I can park that thing and back it in like an expert. So it's just been, you know, I, I, can't, I can't express the ease of which I find this unit for maneuverability and functionality. Put a lot of miles on it with no issues. It's, like I said, we're just incredibly impressed beyond even what we thought with the quality in the, of the unit and the ease of use. I, I think for all of our service, the organization it can continue to be open-minded uh, like they are. They're very, uh, they're very amenable to change. For instance, I had the, um, when I bought the unit, uh, we were using the ZAMP control, controlling system on it. Through, other, through the forum and some of the older owners, uh, I was advised to go with Victron, and Oliver was very flexible. They said, we don't use this, but we'll install it for you. And they installed it for me. We're very happy with the Victron, and lo and behold, Oliver ends up moving towards the Victron platform because of the feedback they get from the customers. So they're very open, as high of a quality of a platform that the Oliver and Ol Oliver one, Oliver two unit are, as they are, the, the leadership team here is still amenable to always looking for self-improvement, to find little things, nuances. And we see that with uh, the upgrade in the air conditioning system from the, uh, can't, I, I can't remember the old brand. I have the old brand, but they went to the Truma because of the noise level. So they're just very open to um, listening to their customer base. They respect the customer base. And I think that's, there's an interesting relationship that I think exists between the Oliver uh, team, the leadership team, and their customers. They, it's, it's a very close relationship with mutual respect. And as a result, you get very happy clients. And I think they really are in this space for the right reasons. It's about, um, it's about just being able to appreciate nature and providing the general public with a high quality platform to do that. That's pretty much it. I mean, I can't really say, I don't know what else to say other than I, I couldn't be more pleased. I just came through the service department and it's unbelievable. They, they walk you through what they did, why they did it. And uh, I don't think you get that from most RVs. I, I, you know, it's, so I'm very pleased. And we're just, con we're just looking forward to continuing this great relationship and having great memories for our boys.